fat girl in a little coat. Are we live? I think so, yeah. Hi! <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Elaine Polly with MagnaWave. Um, I'm really glad you are joining me today. Um, as you know, I love to do these webinars to talk to you about MagnaWave, obviously our products and new and exciting things that I found. Um, recently, I took a trip to New York City to meet Dr. Oz for a mentor mentorship um, possible, you know, opportunity and it ended up being a really 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 great thing for not only our company but myself I met a lot of people who are in the business of wellness and are in the business of improving people's lives and are really making big strides one of them is a company called Vox and with that company was my friend Stan and Stan and I are not only did we hit it off but we're also birthday twins we we're both born on May 10th so um, that just made me love him even more um, I was familiar with the socks before I met Stan but after seeing his presentation to Dr. Oz and really understanding his passion I really I knew that I had to share it with not only the MagnaWave community but everybody because um, these socks work they work well they're at a fantastic price point and it's really something if you are a MagnaWave certified practitioner that you can roll in to using with your treatments to make your successes even more successful so let's introduce Stan Stan um, thank you for joining us today where are you Stan tell us where you're at I am just outside of Seattle in a little town called Edmonds, Washington on the water. Oh, I bet it's beautiful in Edmonds, Washington right now. You know, I spent, if you had asked me a year ago where yeah. I was, I would have said for the past 39 years we've been living in Southern California. Yeah. But youngest son came up to go to college up here 15 years ago, fell in love with the area, said, I'm not coming back. Oh. So we finally decided we wanted to live closer to one of our kids. Yeah. So it took some getting used to because in Southern California, it never rains. And in yeah. Seattle, in the winter, it always rains. Yeah. So we're sort of figuring that part out. And I think we actually did figure it out. Next winter, we're going to bail and we're going to go <laughs> someplace for the winter. Mm -hmm. But from May through October, there is no place nicer than Seattle. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I've heard wonderful things about that. My husband traveled up there for work and he just was blown away. So that's definitely on my bucket list. But before, um, you know, weather aside, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the socks and how they work. I, um, you know, you have a presentation, you did a presentation with Dr. Oz where you talked about balance and how Dr. Oz lost his balance when you were pushing on him and then he put the socks on or he stood on the insoles which are right here and his balance was so much better and I actually did my own controlled study on this myself just internally in the building here with my co-workers but I want to hear a little bit from you about the successes that you've had and how the product works. Great and I'll, I'll set the stage by telling you how I got introduced to this product because having a story I tell people I don't care what business you're in People love stories. Yeah. They hate to be sold, but they love to hear stories because that way they get engaged with it. And so I'm somebody, a little bit of background, I've never had a job in my life. I've always just been an idea guy. And fortunately, I've had enough of the good ones that have paid for the stupid ones, yep. <laughs> but you can always know which is which in the beginning. Yeah. And so it was two years ago, my phone rang. And it was a buddy out of Florida, and he said, hey, I came across this new product out of Canada. Yeah. With your marketing mind, you are going to be fascinated. And I told him, I said, you know, I'm really happy. I'm really busy. I'm making plenty of money. I already get up at 4.30 every morning. I'm just not looking to add anything else to my life right at the moment. Yeah. He says, literally, he says, before you blow me off, you need to take a look at this product with your marketing mind, you are going to be fascinated. So now I'm getting more irritated than I am fascinated. So with a rude tone of voice over the phone, I kind of bark at him. I go, well, what is it? And he says, it's a pair of socks. And Elaine, I swear to you, I just started. It's exactly what I did. Yep. I just been laughing over the phone. I said, you've got to be kidding me. I said, I'm not going to be out talking to people about socks. Yeah. He said, you owe it to yourself to check this out. So he emailed me a couple of videos. I watched the videos. I called him right back. I said, come on, this is just a magic trick. Yep. He says, no. He said, this really is for real. So he was smart enough to overnight me a pair of socks and a pair of insoles. Correct. Whoop. And on some days, 
I would take my 93 year old mother out to lunch. Yeah. And again, two years ago, so we were still in Southern California. So I drove over, I picked up my mom, we drove to the restaurant, I parked the car, I walk around, I open the door, she gets out. I say, mom, before we have lunch, I wanna do a little experiment. Take off your shoes. Now picture this, we're in Southern California in a busy parking lot. Yes. I'm asking 93 year old great grandmother to take off her shoes. <laughs> she like, I'm the crazy one. Yeah. But she takes off her shoes and I go, okay, mom, stand up straight arms by your side I'm gonna stand next to you and I'm gonna gently try to tip you over try not to tip Wow and next to her I gently try to tip her over and of course she tips right, right over. over then I say okay mom step on the insoles and just like with Dr. Oz just like you did with people in your office yep. just like I have done literally 12,000 times in the past two years I tried to tip her over and I could not budge her. And yep. she was this little, tiny, 93 pound, frail, 93 year old great grandmother. That's when I instantly, you, you know what? She's not trying to con me. She's not trying to sell me anything. I cannot tip her over so when she's standing it works. on the It works. Works with her, works with other people. But you know what I heard recently, and somebody brought this to my attention. It was actually my husband, and he said, Yeah, but you know, people mentally, they don't want to tip after they stand on it. So I did a little bit of a different study to kind of prove um, that this worked. And I gave the socks to my brother, who is absolutely the biggest naysayer in the world. I gave the socks to some of the shipping guys downstairs who pick up big boxes and do that. I did not say what they were. I, I took the packaging off. I gave them to him just like this. Says, I love these socks. They're compression, they're fantastic fantastic for just helping with blood flow so I gave it to them I also gave it to two or three of my daughter's friends who do gymnastics and roller skating and I sent them out and then no and I'm not even kidding you every single person I gave socks to particularly my brother came upstairs and he goes Elaine you're gonna think I'm crazy and I was like what And he was like those socks you gave me I actually have better balance and I know that socks can give me better balance but I'm telling you I almost I thought in situations where I was carrying heavy boxes I felt more secure on my feet and my daughter even said she went roller skating she was like this is the first day I've roller skated all day and not fallen now I don't know if it was what it was but they had no basis to think anything would happen with these socks other than they were just comfortable which is amazing just like the test that you've done this was really a great way for me I became a firm firm believer right and I I kind of also do that but I also do it the other way around I love skeptics and yeah. the more skeptical they are great you know take off your shoes my pitch for everybody it makes no difference if it's Dr. Oz or whoever it is, my pitch consists of four words. Okay. Take off your shoes. That's it. Because yeah. I know once I show them, and the fact is, you know, what you said of, you know, they want to try to tip over. I don't care what they do. Yeah. It makes them so much stronger. Yeah. And it's one thing to deal with people you know, who are in good shape, like the guys who work downstairs on the, the loading dock. I'm yeah. sure they're buff, they're in good shape, they can lift these heavy boxes. The time when this becomes so rewarding to me is when you've got somebody, for instance, that's had a stroke. Mm -hmm. You know, when you've got somebody that walks with a cane, when you've got somebody with MS or with Parkinson's. And obviously, we tell people, you know, we don't make any claims. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to treat any conditions. Just like with the products, you know, with, with the, the other wave. Correct. Yeah. You know, we have that disclaimer because everybody is different. And the fact is, aspirin doesn't work for everybody. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, with the 12,000 or so people that I have tried this with, every single one of them with one exception there was one lady a year and a half ago who she just wouldn't keep her arm stiff you know her arm was kind of like a noodle yeah and so you know if you're if you're asking somebody keep your arm stiff your shoulder stiff make a fist i'm going to lift up on your fist well you know if they're not compliant and they're bending their arm and they're they don't want to believe so they're gonna it doesn't matter what you do it could be a miracle they don't want to believe so there she's going to be at defiant Correct. But the solution to that that I learned is 
just have somebody bend their elbow like they're lifting a weight now you can lift from their elbow because there are also times when people have arthritis in their hand oh, okay. or a shoulder issue I always ask before I try to tip somebody over I say is your shoulder okay because I'm going to try really hard right. to tip over and a lot of times or not a lot but some of the times they'll say well you know what that shoulder's not great but the other one is so I get on the other side of them but the other important thing is tipping somebody over is really no pun intended, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's just a real small part of what we do because what we're doing is not mechanical. What we're doing is actually neurological. Yeah. We are impacting their brain. And how? And Tell me how you're impacting their brain because I know that it has all to do with this spot right here. And obviously these socks are very well made. I mean, they are that you could tell that they're the sewing, the pressure inside. I mean, these my husband wears, and you're gonna have to answer another question for me later. He wears them constantly. I mean, today I walked in, I said, oh, I'm doing my webinar, and he had a white and a black one on, which I don't know if you're supposed to mix them, but they were, they were. he was wearing them, and he loves them, he's a total believer. But he tried to, you know, after we met in New York with Dr. Oz, he tried to, um, you know, get a little bit more of an explanation from me about how it works, and I still, explain it, explain what this, cool little uh, thing does and, and what it's called neurotech correct yeah so again what we're doing is neurological oriental medicine has known for thousands of years the significance of the bottom of your feet you know and that's what acupressure is that's what acupuncture is that's what reflexology is you know the body is the most amazing vehicle in the world and the brain is the biggest mystery in the world. Absolutely. So when you ask, you know, how does this work? The honest answer is we are still figuring that out. It is if you hold that sock up, you'll see there is what looks like a fingerprint on the bottom of the sock. It's an interesting story because that actually Tony's is. Tony's looking at me like you're crazy. The <laughs> camera guys over here like, what? The finger, go on. <laughs> yep, that is the fingerprint of our founder because there is a pattern and we have hidden that pattern within the fingerprint. And if you open up the box and show them the bottom of the insole, you'll see there is a fingerprint on the bottom of the insole. So the attorney said there are two our intellectual property. Okay. But if we file a patent, you have to publish it, you have to draw it, you have to show the world, and unfortunately in today's day and age, people are going to try to rip you off, they're going to try to copy it, and then you spend a lot of money and a lot of time in court trying to defend your patent. Yeah. So second way of protecting intellectual property is through copyright. So the attorneys who are brilliant came up with a great idea. They said, let's take the special pattern that we have created, let's hide it within your fingerprint, and we will copyright that pattern you know so, you sound like a crazy person right i mean this well, sounds crazy and i swear to you if everybody watching this right now i know that they we're talking about patterns and your brain is actually seeing this like i have felt it and i am one of the biggest naysayers on the face of the earth when my dad brought home the first magnawave machine and started using it you know almost 20 years ago there was two in the united states and i thought he was nuts i was like Shh, don't talk to my dad he doesn't know what's going on when he turned this box and, and we got so much help for the same type of people that you are talking about um, you know the people with the Parkinson's the aging all of these people benefit from our product in a way that it seems like it's crazy you put a magnetic field in your body but this this operates on the same principle we're affecting the brain you're affecting the way that your body is taking in information and I and I guess that you you know you're in the same place I know they've been doing brain mapping you don't know how it works but if if you are watching this and you think we're nuts just buy one pair of socks and try it because or come to MagnaCon PM at MagnaCon here in Louisville because we really want to show you okay I'm sorry to interrupt so much but I I just want to it's it does sound crazy you have had to he have heard this before absolutely and again I was the first one to say that come yeah. on you got to be kidding me so the, the balance of that story is we created a pattern 
and buy. We don't use magnets. We don't use anything electrical. There is nothing other than a pattern, and that pattern is hidden within the fingerprint. So according to the attorneys, if somebody was to try to copy it and rip us off, not only is it an international copyright violation, it is also identity theft. So it's a so much it's stronger way of protecting our intellectual property. So wow. again, if you touch it, you know, you'll see there are some valleys and peaks. Mm -hmm. Your brain, you know, isn't looking at it, but on the bottom of your foot, there are nerve endings. There are what are called neuroreceptors. Those neuroreceptors are incredibly sensitive. And literally, when your foot comes in contact with either the sock or the insole, we are sending these signals to your brain. And you were mentioning brain mapping. There's a science, and you can look it up. It's called QEEG brain mapping. And it's been around for about 30 or 40 years now. And everybody knows what an EKG is for your heart. You know, if somebody's having a heart issue, they strap on these nine or 10 different sensors, and those sensors are measuring the electrical activity of your heart. Yeah. A QEEG is measuring the electrical activity of your brain. You sit there, and they actually put a hat or a helmet on your head. It has 19 sensors on it, or 128 sensors on it, depending on which system is being used, and it draws these charts, just like an EKG, just like a polygraph you know, machine. And then there's a program that is this QEEG program that actually builds a 3D model of your brain, and it is able to see the electrical activity wow. of your brain. And they're just so, different from when you're wearing the socks and when you're not, correct? Absolutely. The moment you put the socks on or you slide the insoles under somebody's foot, you see the change in brain activity, which is why I tell people, first of all, this is an inexpensive product. You know, these socks retail from $35 to $50. So everybody can afford it, number one. And they have number, compression? They have a little bit of compression. By definition, they're not medical compression socks, like but it. all of our athletic socks do have some squeeze to them. Mm -hmm. That being said, our number one selling sock, the blue polka dot sock that you have there, not necessarily that color, but that style of sock is called the wellness sock. That sock is nice and soft. It's 70% cotton. It's great for boots, too. I wear it in the sun, winter in this winter with boots. Correct. And we just came out with a new boot sock that's actually called Vox Terra, which is a nice, thicker, 22% wool sock. The interesting thing is every one of our products accomplishes the same thing. Makes no difference if it's a pair of socks, a pair of insoles, tall socks, short socks, thin socks, liner socks, everything does the same thing. And we have an incredible amount of confidence. We offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on every single pair that we sell. That's, That's why I say we love skeptics. Hey, be as skeptical as you want, but don't let that prevent you from seeing one of the most remarkable things you will ever see. And I completely agree. So let me talk a little bit to, to my certified practitioner community out there who's listening to Stan and me and is saying, what are you talking about? I want you to say, go get yourself a pair of socks um, and try it. They have that 30 day money back guarantee. The reason that I am bringing this to you is not just about um, socks. The reason is because I feel like this is a tremendous opportunity for the certified practitioners to A, use this in combination with their MagnaWave business. What I found is that when you're t treating older people and you're going to shows and you're wanting to find a way, well, when you're done with the machine, they're going to get relief. They're going to feel better. And if they're doing regular treatments, but helping with that flexibility and that stamina and their ability to be more, um, 
what it's secure on their feet and work with their balance is huge. That's good for athletes who you're working with if you're running a human magnoid business. It's also fantastic for all of your clients because if you can treat them and see them get relief from their issues and then they can put these socks on and see that last longer, we are in the business of helping people. We're in the wellness business. And when I met Stan, I was like, this works very well. Um, and it's also a great thing to add to your repertoire of helping people. You know, we talk a lot about of careers that work really well. So I wanna take some phone calls here and I have the phone number, I think the guys can put it up, but it's 502-599-9722. If you're watching the webinar and you have questions, um, if this is pre-recorded, you can text in, but I would recommend you could call or text to that number right now live, 502-599-9722. Stan and I will be happy to ask, answer any questions. Um, if you would like to, um, do we have a question? How much do they cost? How much do they cost? They range, Stan just said they range from $35 to $55. Um, they do have a booty sock. Um, I had purchased some to show you guys today and then my husband opened all of them and wore them. So I didn't have any to bring. Um, my kids wear these socks. They come in children's sizes. I wear them. Uh, again, I gave them to some of the, our workers here in the office. The results have been wonderful. And if you are using a Magnaway machine, I recommend, you know, really trying these they work fantastic and very very complimentary together now stan let's show them while we're waiting for a phone call let's show them some pictures from um new york stan and i went and met with dr oz uh in new york city and we did a mentorship program and i mean do you have a good time in new york stan you know new york is always great you know being with this group of people was incredible it really was an amazing event. And I just want to interject one thing. You know, yeah. anybody who is, you know, a MagnaWave practitioner, you are so fortunate that you have Elaine as your mentor. I mean, she is fearless, number one. She is a go-getter. I mean, she is somebody who, I mean, she made her mark on Dr. Oz. I oh, mean, you're it, so sweet. Uh, it was amazing when you were doing your presentation because you don't take changing. any questions. You know, yeah. you, and so you're a great mentor for the people who have found you and have been attracted to the business. So everybody- Well, thank you, Stan. You're welcome, Mike. And, and I feel the same way about you. Like, I was so excited to team up with you because not only are we birthday twins, but I, your energy was so great. I felt so supported. Um, I don't know if a lot of you knew when we got this opportunity to go to New York, my father was supposed to go with me, but he lost his brother uh, two days before we were supposed to leave. So I flew to New York City for the first time by myself. And um, I got there and I had some friends meeting me the next day, um, Dr. Amanda Myers and Verlinda, who are in that photo with me right there. But they didn't get there until well after I was to arrive. So um, I got there and and Stan immediately took me under his wing and helped me through a very weird dinner where I didn't know anyone. And it ended up being like a really, really great opportunity because not only did I meet Stan, but I met some really great people. And his value and the way that he described this product to Dr. Oz just really made me see that there are other companies out there who believe in helping people and who believe in not just selling a product, but doing what's best for their people. And that's exactly who I want to partner with. We have never partnered with another company at all ever in any type of way um, to sell another product we have supplements that we sell under our label but we have not ever ever partnered like this with another company um, for a product because I've never really and I don't think my father has has believed in something that has benefited our lives we have been buying the socks now for over a year um, I really never thought about how the business aspect would work for my practitioners until I met Stan and he explained so many people they have helped and how it's helped so many stay at home people and people who have their own small businesses. It's really grown. It's not just um, regular people who are using and selling these socks. It's doctors, chiropractors um, who are using these. So I really think that if you're one of these people and you have access to help people, there, this is a great opportunity. Yeah, and interestingly, I used to say, this is a product for anybody with feet yeah. But I was doing a show, and a man came walking by, and I noticed he only had one leg. Oh, my gosh. an above-the-knee amputee. And this was about a year and a half ago, and I had never tried this product 
with somebody that only has one leg. Yeah. So formerly, as I told you, my pitch is take off your shoes. Well, yeah. for him, I just said take off your shoe. So yeah. he takes off the one shoe on the one foot. I tip him over. I have him step on one insole. I cannot budge him. Wow. He turns me, and you know what he asked me? What? He says, I get a pair half price because I only need one. <laughs> you I, better have done I, that. Gave him an extra pair for free because he was actually a vegetable. And that's the other thing that I'm convinced of. In this day and age, everything is not about money. Right. I mean, you can do really well by doing good. Mm -hmm. And to me, you know, we talked a little bit about that geriatric market. You know, if you're lucky enough to have parents and to have some older people in your life, if you were to do a little survey and ask a hundred of them what are their two biggest fears, what you are going to hear over and over again. First is a fear they may outlive their money. Second is a fear of slipping and falling and either hitting their head or breaking a hip. Yeah. This whole project has become really personal for me because we moved my 93-year-old mother up here to Seattle with us you know, a year and a half ago, put her into a beautiful assisted living facility. Yeah. Unfortunately, I got that dreaded call early one morning. She had just woken up. She was getting out of bed. She slipped. She fell. She broke her hip. Oh. She really was not a candidate for surgery, but the surgeon said, if we don't go in and fix this, she literally will never sit up again, even in bed. And so she wanted to try, so they did the surgery. They were great at replacing the hip, but unfortunately, she lasted eight days. Oh. And so I know how tragic falls are for older people. And so one of my personal goals now is to just get the word out about this. Jay, our founder, the backstory for him, his mother was diagnosed with MS. He watched her go from diagnosis to wheelchair in 18 months. He retired from the computer industry. He said, my new goal in life is to help improve the quality of her life. That's Wonderful. what this is all about. We just want to help people. I and agree. Inexpensive I way of helping people. And I know that's kind of in tandem with the whole goal of what you guys do. We don't have a, pro a product as yet that does anything for animals that we know about, right. but all of your practitioners, hey, anybody that has an animal, they're a person. They yeah. know of people. Everybody benefits from this. And specifically, uh, any of your people who are into the whole horse racing. Oh, if they're out at the barn, if you're walking, if you're at a show all day long, if you are somebody who is, if you are a mother and you have children and you're holding your kids, I just the other day, I actually am wearing this jacket because I have a really big bruise on my arm because I was walking down the steps, did not have my socks on, and my Vox socks on, and I was walking down the steps and I slipped with my daughter and I hit my, my arm on the... Um, you know, what I should have been holding the railing, but I wasn't. And I thought to myself, like, just in one instant, I could have, you know, it was the baby or me, you know, and it, and obviously it was me that went down, but you know, I, she was fine. But in those instants, you really want to have the ability, if you could give even yourself more stability, um, your parents. And one of the things I've really found interesting recently that Magnaway particularly has been working with is sleep disorders, behavioral disorders, ADHD in children. I've noticed over and over and over again, um, where children who have had seizure issues have been using our equipment and had great issue, great relief. Um, their parents have tried it because, you know, they have ADHD. They have problems sleeping. They have all of these issues. And for years, these parents have been told, I have nothing else. I, you know, there's nothing else we can do but put them on medication. Um, and I've had, you know, dozens of families who are now using the MagnaWave to help the kids, treating them in the evening. And I know that you guys have had similar success with having the, the kids um, who may have some of these orders or adults, you know, adults who may have some of these disorders use the socks. There have been some remarkable, remarkable stories. And that's why I tell people, you know, go to the website that I built for you. So go to magnasocks.com. You'll see some 
interesting, very compelling videos, but we literally have thousands of them. You know, we've only got yep. five or six of them on that particular website, but we have thousands and thousands of videos. Because what we're doing is neurological, yes, we have seen children who are on the autism spectrum, who I get call after call from parents who say, the minute little Johnny puts on his socks, it's as if there's this calming effect that comes over him. Mm -hmm. And see that in the brain scans. Yeah. And to back to the horses for a minute, you know, jockeys. I mean, if a jockey has better balance, that's less work that the horse has to do. All right, Declan, we you're getting a pair. No, that's, that's my husband's jockey. He's an agent. My husband's a jockey agent. I'll bring him over after the webinar. Okay, keep going. <laughs> that's the beauty of it is everybody benefits, you know, one way or another from the socks. So regardless who you are, what you do, who you know, don't keep this a secret. And because they're inexpensive, I tell people, hey, similar to joining Costco, you know, I'll ask people, I'll say, you know, are you a member of Costco? And they'll say, why? Are these socks available at Costco? And I go, no. But here's why I'm asking you that. You know, just like you pay $50 a year to be a member of Costco because you get great prices. You know, with us, it's $40 for the year. You can be set up as a wholesale account. A, we mail you a welcome kit. In the welcome kit is a free pair of either socks or insoles. Yep. Number, number two, you will always get between a 25 and a 50% discount on everything that you buy. So I tell people, for about the price of buying one pair of socks, you have a business in a box. Yep. And it works perfectly in tandem to everybody they're currently talking to about MagnaWay in addition, family, if you talk about the ultimate gift that you can give somebody to give them a little more peace of mind, you know, to give them something for their parents, for athletes, I mean, name one sport that doesn't benefit from an improvement there in balance right, and range of motion. Right. Everybody wins. Okay, so do we have any questions? I do. Um, first thing, um, when they go to magnusocks.com, they click on... Uh, the bottom right, correct? Yeah. Click here to order and there's associate registration. Yes. Okay. Wait, do they go to click here to order and then associate registration or how do they order the socks from magnusocks.com? Yeah, so the way they order is exactly that. Down at the bottom of the page, you'll see a blue bar that says click here to order. When they click on that bar, it takes them over to your corporate replicated site. On that site, the very first tab on the left says associate registration. Yep. That's, they can go and pay $40 to sign up. When they sign up, it will make them a couple of great one-time offers of a starter pack. I suggest people take advantage of the That's starter pack. That's what I did. I did the starter pack and I got these, this, uh, two pair of the, um, the low cut socks, which again, Joe has. Um, and then two insoles, one for me and one for him. I mean, I got a big package and I was able to uh, pretty much outfit everybody. Uh, and then I purchased some socks for my kids as well. So like there, this is all available to you. I recommend doing this. If you have a, um, it, it just comes, you don't get to pick what you get in your, your box, do you? Or can you? No. So here's the deal. During okay. sign up, we make you two special offers. There's a $200 launch kit and there's a $600, what we call a party pack. The one thing I will warn people is the biggest problem most of our associates have is trying to keep anything in stock. Mm -hmm. You know, I tell people over the years, I've been accused of being willing to give people the shirt off of my back. Now they want the socks off of my feet. <laughs> the moment they see it, they go, well, I don't want to wait to order them. Don't you have some with you? Yeah. And there have been a couple of times I've been out to dinner and it's like we took an Uber with us, so I didn't have my stash of stuff that I always keep in my car. And I literally have had some people say, well, you're wearing them, right? And I go, of course I'm wearing them. And they'll go, well, can I have yours? You know, I'll wash them. So the tough <laughs> problem is just trying to keep anything in stock. But I also tell people, you know, you're not Macy's, okay? We have about 50 different socks in five different sizes, six different colors. Nobody carries everything. 
but try to have some stuff there because the minute they see it, they want it. Now, if they go to the associate registration, they pay the $40. Is there a place where they could see everything that they can purchase, where they could see all of the socks? Yeah, even before they do that, if they just click on the word shop, yeah. when they click on shop, it opens up a shopping cart. They can see every sock, every color. So you every... don't have to be an associate. You can shop right now. You can here, click shop or associate registration. If you're a practitioner and you want to start selling, you want to get a pack, um, you want to do the associate registration. If you want to just shop and get a trial pair, you want to click order here and go to the shop, correct? Right. Yes. I will warn people. I say, you know what? If you're going to order more than two items, it's actually cheaper to pay the $40 and then order product wholesale. Yes. But if somebody just wants to buy a pair of socks or a pair of insoles, absolutely. Just go, go to the, the same shop. Site, just click the word shop, buy whatever they want. So if somebody decides to become an associate and they want to run a business, do you have more questions? I'm sorry. We have more questions, and then I'll ask mine because I have a million. Uh, what is the life expectancy, and how do you care for the socks? Okay, so this is a big one. What is the life expectancy, and how do you care them, care for them? As a mother, how do I wash them? Okay, so here's the deal. If you were to read the official care instructions that are on the top, that card that's on the sock, it will tell you to hand wash them and let them air dry. I am here to tell you, over the past two years, my wife has never once done that. I she haven't either. She throws them in the washer, she throws them in the dryer, they work just fine. As far as how long will they last, I tell people, they're very high quality, they're going to last at least as long as any other pair of socks on your sock drawer. Mm -hmm. That being said, most people have a drawer filled with socks. They reach in Monday, they take out a pair of black socks. They reach in Tuesday, they take out a pair of brown socks. That pair of brown socks might be five years old, but they're only wearing it once every couple of weeks. If you just buy one pair of our socks and you are wearing them every single day, you'll get about the same number of wears that you would get out of the brown pair, but you're gonna use them up that much quicker. Yeah, that makes sense. That's just fabric science. Perfect. Fabric only lasts so long. Yeah, I mean, two people, who both might wear the same size medium sock. One of them might weigh 250 pounds and has really rough feet. The other one may weigh 100 pounds and has really soft feet. That's you know, some people may walk outside occasionally in just their socks to get the newspaper. Yeah. Some people may have rough wood floors. So everybody is going to wear them out at a different rate. But the fact is they while for a pair of socks, some people may say, well, wow, that's a really expensive pair of socks. I'm here to tell you, I have gone to Nordstrom's. I have bought regular men's dress socks that are more expensive than that from Italy. But that being said, yes, you can go to Walmart and get a six pack of white athletic socks for $9.99. I tell people these look like socks. That's really not what they are. Yeah. These are really neurological delivery devices hidden in a pair of socks. So, if, okay, go on. Sorry, I, is there more? Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, um, is this something that, in that regard, do you have to adjust your body wearing them gradually, or can you just go? You could just go. You don't have to adjust your body to wearing them gradually. And Stan, correct me if I'm wrong, but everyone that I've ever come across has put them on and worn them. My husband loves them. My children love them. I wear them all the time. And and you notice a difference. Um, like he said, socks are very high quality. So um, you will feel just from the way that they, they fit, they seem to fit better. There's a sizing guide. Um, like what they're small, medium, large, and extra large. So you can find um, like a woman's four through seven is a small, a woman's eight, size eight through 11 is a medium. So, um, you know, this sizing guide is great. You want to make sure you get the correct size for your feet. It correct me wrong if, if I'm wrong again, Stan, so that the neurotechnology falls exactly where it should on your foot. Um, you don't want to wear giant socks where that's not even touching your foot. That's not going to be beneficial. So um, there is no other reason why they would. Um, need to ease into wearing them, Stan? No, just put them on. One of the videos you'll see on your website is a lady, her name is Amy, she has a green, greenish blue blouse on. She's actually had MS for nine years. She heard about us, she got in contact with me. She said, I have watched so many of your videos, I really need to see this for myself. I said, absolutely, let's get together. So her husband drove her down to meet me and I saw them park 
the SUV. He helped her get out. She, you know, severely off balance. She has one of the canes with the four pods on the bottom. She walks over and introduces herself. I say, hi, Amy. I said, let's, let's try this. She, I said, you know, my classic four words, you know, take off your shoes. I'm going to try to tip you over. She said, well, that's going to be really easy because I can't stand up on my own. Yeah. You know, my husband being there or leaning on something, I said, we won't let you fall. So stands up. I tip her over. Literally, I just touch her and she tips right over. Then he helps her literally just to try to move her feet to put them onto the insoles. She puts her feet on the insoles. I swear to you, I cannot budge her. You'll also notice with her MS, she has a tremor. She cannot touch her finger to her nose. She steps on the insoles and all of a sudden she can touch wow. her fingers to her nose. Now, is it perfect? No, we didn't cure her MS in 30 seconds. But for her, the tremor was reduced to the point that she could touch her nose. Then she turns to me and she says, can I try the socks? I said, absolutely. So we walk over, we sit at the table, and it was at that point that the video starts, because at that point I say, Amy, can I shoot a video of this? She says, absolutely. So she's seated now. I go, okay, Amy, try to touch your finger to your nose. And you see her try to do that, and she cannot do that. Another test a neurologist has you do the test what's called cerebellar reflex is to try to slide your heel up and down on your shin. It's yeah. almost like how you cross your legs, and you'll see her try to do this. And just watch her head and neck, how contorted, how much stress and strain there is in her head and neck when she tries to touch her nose or when she tries to slip her heel up and down. And then it breaks your heart because it takes a minute and a half for her just to put on the pair of socks. But she gets the pair of socks on, and then literally, I go, Amy, try to touch your nose. Bingo. Wow. And then you see her slide her heel up and down. I have had hundreds of physical therapists and neurologists watch that and go, I have treated some of my patients for six months and not had the outcome you just got in a minute and a half by changing her socks. So that was a long roundabout answer for how quickly does this happen. It is instant. Right. And we're not trying to change somebody's medication. We're not trying to change their lifestyle. We're not trying to change their diet. We literally are changing their socks. Yeah, magnasocks.com. You could go check it out again. Press the blue button. You can order here. You can also look at um, the associate information in the shop. So do we have any more questions? Yeah, this one's kind of a double question of two people. Um, what are, are they made of synthetic material or cotton? Okay. Um, and are they okay for runners um, or, or not? They're absolutely great for athletes of any kind um, and runners, correct, Stan? Yep, they are. They're great for everybody. The athletic socks, um, you can read. Actually, that sock that you're holding is the wellness sock. That one is 70% cotton yeah. with a little bit of nylon, a little bit of spandex. The other socks, so all of the athletic socks are, and if you've got one of the cards from one of the other ones, you'll see that they are, yeah, cotton and rayon uh, is what all of the athletic socks are. Yeah, so uh, mostly cotton, uh, but then some spandex and nylon in there as well. Correct. That's the wellness side. And if you know anybody that has neuropathy in their feet, a lot of people with neuropathy do not like anything tight on their feet, which is also why that polka dot sock is our top selling sock because it's 70% cotton. It's a looser fitting tube sock, so it doesn't squish their foot which again, a lot of neuropathy patients do not like when their foot gets squished. And if you're a Magnuway practitioner, you know where we treat neuropathy, not treat, but we help people with neuropathy consistently because um, that better blood flow allows the body to actually function better in that neuropathy, some of those symptoms to decrease. And I think that's one of the biggest things is that if you're working with somebody who has neuropathy, they're getting results from the Magnuway, and then you could put these socks on in between treatments, it's like double you know, the goodness here. You're actually helping them neurologically and then physically with 
their ability to get that better blood flow. So you're doing both of those things in a very friendly, easy to do. I mean, most treatments for a human, you're running about 40 to, you know, $50, which is about the same as a pair of socks. So, you know, for under a hundred bucks, you have a pair of socks and you have your ability to treat your patient um, or your client and make them feel better. So whether you're a chiropractor, a doctor, or just a practitioner, or you own a piece of our equipment and you are just wanting to um, have a better quality of life for your family and it, it's it's all here for you athlete or not do you have any other questions uh, just to follow up to that um do they have like uh, something with wicking or drying in this do they have anything for wicking or drying to keep from um like this i guess moisture the moisture yes. yes they do and that's also why the athletic socks they come in a variety of different styles because some people like what we call the no-show sock that's just below the ankle yeah. Some people like the sock that comes up just above the ankle that we call the mini crew. And both of those are our least expensive sock. Both of those are $35 socks. Other people like the athletic sock that I call the old fashioned tennis sock. You know, it's the one we all wore growing up. Yep, that comes up about, you know, five inches above the ankle. And then there are some people who really like the tall, you know, over the calf sock. And so whatever type of sock somebody wants, you know, we've got it. The interesting thing is it makes no difference if it's a short sock, tall sock, blue sock, white sock, insole, everything is going to accomplish exactly the same end result. So they're moisture wicking. What about like, like uh, is there any type of like silver component in here that keeps it from smelling bad? There, there's not a silver component. Uh, or antifungal, in, maybe? Yes, in the socks there is. Okay, that's yes. what I thought. Yep. I was about to say, my child's foot does not smell as bad when he wears these, and I don't know if that's something to do with it. He's neurologically smells better, but it's true. And for anybody that's into hand puppets, you're welcome to try that with the socks as well. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, let's do it. I like to have a good time. Okay, so hi. <laughs> that's good. I'm going to do that tonight with the kids. Um... <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna have uh, we're gonna be highlighting these socks at MagnaCon this year. I really, if you are coming, you're gonna learn a lot more about them. Uh, do you have any other questions? Um, one one thing about becoming an affiliate that I wanted to ask you, Stan, before we wrap up, is if somebody decides to sign up and sell the socks, um, there's phone calls. How do they get mentored on the best way to to go about selling and approaching people? Right. I'm, I'm here to answer questions. I'm happy to do some three-way calls with any of your people okay. when they get set up. I also do a Saturday morning training call that I call Sock Talk. Oh, and that's every fantastic. Saturday, and I did it live from New York. I do it live. Uh, I'm headed out to a brain conference tomorrow morning. I'll be at this brain conference on Saturday but I will carve out half an hour. It's at 10 o'clock Eastern time, and I'll give you the number. You can send it to people. Well, um, yeah. And so with that call, it's really designed for you know my team, and you guys will all be on my team, and I tell you you know where I am, some of the things that are going on you know in my soft life, and we answer questions. So similar to this, and it's just a great little half hour call and it's every saturday at 10 o'clock eastern time so um also if you become an uh, an affiliate you do you're a practitioner you're looking to find another way to grow your business and help more people um that's one of the reasons again i'm i'm bringing this to you today um i'm gonna put some more training videos up um you know a little a couple more things in our actual um kajabi uh certification program so if you do we're building it out currently so that when you do become an affiliate you'll get access to a couple i'd like to film some more stuff with stan um so that you could get some you know hands-on stuff from me and stan in there that you can watch anytime and then again stan's willing to do some three-way calls with me and you and then we'll also we're we're here to help set you up with those saturday phone calls at webinars that you can watch sock talk with stan so stan i really appreciate you um joining me today does anybody else have any last questions um I, I really appreciate everybody for um, what? He's got a question. Got one oh, more we question. got one more question. Uh, we talked a little bit about the the benefits of the socks and the insoles independently. Is there any added benefit in wearing the two together? 
Oh, is there any added benefit of wearing the socks and the insoles together? What a genius question. I never thought about that. You know, the, the real answer is usually not. However, it's a lifestyle issue. Go back for a minute to the story of Amy, the lady with MS. Mm -hmm. For her, when she gets home, she likes to take off her shoes and walk around in slippers. The last thing she would ever want to do is to have to take off her regular socks when she gets home. Put on our socks, then have two pair of socks to wash every day. Yeah. But she loves having the insoles. So she's an example of somebody who does wear both. The other interesting thing is a lot of our older clients get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Ask any ER doc. That's an incredibly dangerous time for risk of falling. As a result, we suggest older people wear the socks when you are sleeping. Mm -hmm. And so for them, same thing. They like to have them in their shoes. If somebody says, well, I wear one pair of shoes all the time, then great. You know, wear the insoles. But there are lots of people like my wife who has hundreds of shoes. There's no way she's going to get hundreds of pairs of insoles. Yeah. So you can move them from shoe to shoe. We also have a thin insole that specifically was designed for high heels, for flats, for sandals, for thongs. And That's what I wear. Yes, a lot of people have custom orthotics in their shoes. They spent three or four hundred dollars for it. So if somebody says, well, I've already got these expensive custom orthotics, we say, great, wear our socks with your insoles. Yeah. Or the thin insole, in most cases, is thin enough to be able to go right on top of their custom orthotics. Yeah, and it's just like this part right here. If you look at this and how thin this is right don't look at that. That's about how thin that other insole is. He's got one right there. That's I actually have. That's what I use. Um, can you hold that to the side so we get there? We go. So you can really see how thin that is. That's what I wear. I wear that actually in my tennis shoes, and then I have another pair that I put in my heels that I wear every day. So I mean, I would recommend um, that for women. That's a great option. But but you know, to go back to Tony's question, it doesn't hurt to wear the socks with. Um, the uh, insoles, but it also, it is a benefit if you'll be getting out and switching shoes to have the socks or the insoles on as much as you can. And if you have incontinence and you're waking up in the middle of the night, you should try this little product. It's called MagnaWave. And it's awesome for helping with incontinence. It is, PMF is FDA approved for incontinence. So um, we can help you stay more balanced and stop you from being in the middle of the night. But um, on that note, Today was wonderful. I really appreciate you all coming and listening. This is, um, you know, just been a really great journey for me with Stan. He's been wonderful to work with. I believe in this product. I believe in helping people. And I really, um, I'm going to go back and see Dr. Oz again. I think Stan's going to as well. We've really learned a lot and worked together a lot. So I can't wait to sh share that with you. Magnasocks.com. Uh, you can call our office. 502-742-7868. I would be happy to schedule a call with you um, or me, you, and Stan um, if you have any further questions. Uh, and you can go to magnasocks.com, order here, and either check out the shops or become an affiliate. Thank you, guys. Stan, thank you so much, and I will be talking to you soon. Enjoy Washington. Great. Thanks, guys. We'll do this again. Bye. Bye.